Hello you all, I am Black Witch Yaya. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I know we are in a strange location than usual. I am, I'm filming from a secret location. I'm in the process of doing some renovations somewhere. So I really wanted to use this opportunity to first be consistent and not use me doing renovations as an excuse not to post. Also, I wanted to test out the lighting and the sound in here as well for, you know, just something in the future. So if you don't know nothing else about Black Witch Yaya, y'all know I love my crystals. Anywhere I can implement a crystal, I will do so even when it looks like on the surface I don't have on a crystal somewhere. But trust me, within a few feet or somewhere else on me, there is a crystal being utilized. I like to pick out my crystals just depending on how I wake up in the morning, what I'm feeling. If I'm trying to dive into something near my desk, I keep, you know, crystals for creativity and all of that good stuff. I keep them in my wallet, my purse, at my desk at work. Whatever I am doing, if I can implement a crystal, I will do so. So if you're like me and you utilize crystals a lot, you love purchasing crystals, keeping them near you, you may have noticed a few times that some all of a sudden disappear. Especially if you're a neat and organized person, you keep all of your crystals in one spot or you wear one all the time, you may randomly notice that they'll just disappear. You think you lose them, but there's no way because you keep them in one spot. You look for it, no one else has seen it, but they're nowhere to be found. This happens for a lot of people who utilize crystals. They just disappear. And this is a common folklore as well on why crystals disappear. But for this video, I wanted to keep it simple because there's a lot of questions that can go into it. Like if you lost it while you were sleeping, what were you dreaming about? If you lost it in the middle of the day, where who did you come in contact with? If all of a sudden your crystal bracelet breaks, who, did, who was the last person you touched or what was the last room you walked into? There are a lot of things that can go into it, but just know like I always say everything is connected and nothing is by coincidence so everything happens for a reason but for today I wanted to get into a few things that can cause your crystal to disappear or break so first things first if you randomly just lose your crystal most people say that this is because a crystal has served its purpose if you get a crystal for a specific reason let's just say anger if you want to practice more patience and peacefulness and joy if you learn how to manage your emotions manage the people you come in contact with control how you react to things and it's just become a natural thing to you and it has become a habit you learn how to do it boom boom that crystal may disappear it served its purpose it has to go on to flourish and go to the next person which is why i say you always want to make sure you cleanse your crystals even if you purchased them or you found them somewhere because the one you found may be the one that someone else just lost because it's now your turn to tap into that energy so there's like a story between it's kind of like the traveler stone in a way i'll get into that in another video but always make sure you cleanse your crystals because you don't know who had it before you but once the crystal has served its purpose and it's feel like you know what i've done my job go on my child you're good to go this is one of the main reasons why your crystals can disappear another reason why your crystal can disappear is actually quite the opposite if that's not the crystal that you need at this very moment for example if you purchase a crystal just because it looks pretty and you don't actually there is a bird out there sorry if you purchase the crystal just because it looks pretty or it's in style or you see someone else with it, that crystal may disappear as well because that may not be the crystal that you need at that time. For example, if you want to control your anger, control your emotions, control your cockiness, you may not need a malachite. That's not the crystal for you. You may want to go to a clear quartz or a rose quartz. So crystals tend to feed off of energy. So if you already have too much of a certain energy, that crystal is going to disappear because the energies aren't matching. So that's basically the crystal's way of saying like, hey, you don't need me right now. You need a different type of crystal. This energy not meshing too well. Another reason why your crystal may have disappeared, did someone touch or wear your crystal? Usually when someone wears your crystal, they may not know it's charged just for you and they're not supposed to touch it. The crystal will disappear because the energy has changed. 
So if you catch someone wearing your crystal or touching it too much, you want to make sure that you cleanse it. You can sit it near your windowsill. You can wash it in Florida water. You can sit it outside. Let the sun touch it. Let the moonlight hit it. You want to make sure that you cleanse it because you guys have to remember that crystals are energy sources. So it gives off and it absorbs energy as well. So when you touch a crystal, sometimes you may feel it vibrate. If you clean the crystal, you may hear it whistle. That's mean it's nice, squeaky, clean, and meant for you. It's like the perfect match of singing and heart. Harmony. Someone in my comments actually told me before that they heard their crystal whistle. That basically means crystal whistle. That sounds funny. That basically means that the crystal is nice, cleansed, and charged for you, and that crystal is going to be with you for the long run. And it has really good energy on it. So you really picked out a good crystal, or the person who gave it to you gift you a good crystal. So if you find someone else touching your crystal, make sure you cleanse it. Or sometimes if you don't catch them doing it and the crystal disappears, that's why it's important to ask other people have they seen it just in case someone someone else has worn it that means that their energy is on it and just the crystal has too much energy flows going on so it will disappear as well so if your crystal pops if it breaks or shatters there are many reasons that can go into this depending on where it happened when it happened what were you doing but one of the main reasons is because that crystal just protect you from something now this can be if you just shook someone's hand and then later on that day you see that your crystal's gone or your crystal pop. That means that crystal protected you from some type of energy source that wouldn't match with yours or didn't need to meet yours. So the crystal soaked in that energy for you and it was so negative that it just broke. Those of you guys who have purchased a crystal from me, you will notice it's a type of sage mixture in there. That's just because since I technically was the last person that touched your crystal, when I sit it in that sage mix and pray over it and ship it off, when you touch it, it is now charged your energy just because it was sitting there cleansing the entire time while it was being purchased. And I like to just sit the crystals in the sage mix to keep it nice, charged, and cleansed. And you guys know this is how the mixture looks right here. And I also sell this on blackwitchyaya.com. You could just sprinkle a bit, sit it outside, or just let your crystal sit in the sage mix when you do not have it on. Just so it stays nice and charged and keeps you protected anytime you wear it. And just protect it from all the outside sources as well for myself personally i have a whole bunch of my crystal dry rub that's what i call the sage mixture my crystal dry rub i have it in a jewelry box and i have the bottom part filled with the crystal dry rub and i set my crystals in there anytime i am not wearing them just to keep them protected hidden from everybody else because you know my mom is like oh my god this crystal is so pretty let me wear it i'm just like no so I just like to keep it safe, charged, and away from everyone else. And you should do the same with your crystals as well. Try not to leave them laying around too much. You really want to keep them nice and neat so that energy can stay nice, charged, and protected for you. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this video on what does it mean when your crystal breaks or disappears. I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. Let me know down below if you ever had a crystal break or disappear. What was the last thing you were doing? What do you remember? Or why do you think it happened to you? But like I always say, as above, so below. As within, so without. As the universe, so the soul. Until next time, you guys, I shake, baby.